Now that you have clicked this thumbnail, it means you're interested in hacking, right? First of all, thank you for clicking the video thumbnail. Now just calm down and relax, because after watching this video, you'll get a complete guideline on how you can actually become a hacker. Before I tell you about all those things, please keep a few things in mind. You don't need money to become a hacker, no need to buy a course. Why buy a course when you can get everything for free? All you need for learning hacking is a computer with an internet connection and dedication. Before we move forward, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video, because this this channel is your non-stop source for hacking and cybersecurity content. Okay, so first of all, you need to consider why you are actually learning hacking. Do you want to land a job in hacking and cybersecurity, or are you just doing this for fun? Many people hack for fun and entertainment, but this hobby can also turn into something that earns you a good amount of money. The path can be different for these two goals, but the common foundation for both is the basics. You must understand the basics of hacking. Now, you might be wondering, what are the basics? Let's break it down. When we talk about the basics of hacking, we are actually referring to the fundamental knowledge required before diving into the more advanced or shady stuff. This includes learning basic computer usage. Now tell me, how can someone become a hacker if they don't even know how to use their own computer? Courses teach hacking, and many of them are very good, but they won't teach you how to use a basic Windows system. This might seem like a stupidly simple concept for those already familiar with computers, but for people coming from other backgrounds, like medical science, it can be crucial. Spend some time exploring your Windows computer. Try to understand understand basic things like what command line interfaces are, what CMD and PowerShell are, and how scripts and programs run on a Windows computer. Once you're comfortable with your computer, move on to programming. Start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Though these aren't programming languages in the traditional sense, they are used for building websites and will be incredibly helpful if you get into web hacking. After you learn this, you can move on to an easy programming language like Python. Python is one of the easiest programming languages to learn. From my personal experience, I have seen most hackers using Python to write their hacking tools and scripts. It is very easy to learn and you can pick it up in less than a week. Though programming is not necessary for hacking, it will help you a lot. Trust me, once you get familiar with programming, we can move on to our next basic step, getting familiar with the Linux operating system. You might have heard this term at least once in your life. Learning Linux is a crucial part of learning hacking. Though hacking can be done on Windows too, Linux provides a better environment to do it efficiently. Learning Linux isn't like learning some freaky alien language, it is just another operating system like Windows, but the key difference is that we work more with the command line rather than using icons and buttons. By command line, I mean using small commands to perform tasks that we typically do with buttons in Windows. Linux is crucial for hacking. You can install any Linux operating system, such as Ubuntu or Kali Linux. Kali Linux would be a better choice because it is specifically designed for hacking. Installing Linux is not very hard, and there are multiple ways to do it. You can find plenty of videos on the internet that teach Linux installation. Once you're comfortable with Linux, you can start learning networking. How does the internet work? How does data move from one computer to another? These are some topics you should research. To be honest, it might seem very basic or even stupid right now, but understanding these topics is crucial because they form the absolute foundation for what we are going to learn next. Hacking heavily relies on networking. If you don't understand networking, you may struggle with hacking. After learning networking, you can start using basic hacking tools like Nmap for network scanning or Metasploit for exploitation. You might not fully understand these terms right Right now, but with time, consistency, and continuous learning, everything will start making sense. Once you learn the basic hacking tools, you will have a strong foundation in hacking and you can move forward. After clearing the basics, you can do two things. If you want to continue hacking for fun and learning, you can join platforms like TryHackMe or Hack the Box, where you can legally hack systems without the risk of ever being caught. These platforms teach you hacking and provide virtual machines that you can legally hack to practice your skills. You can spend time on these platforms and even rank yourself among the world's top hackers. Now, if you want to turn this passion into something that earns you money, you can go for certifications. You can take exams like CEH and get a certificate after passing. Once you have a certificate, you can easily apply for jobs and potentially secure one. One of the most important things for learning hacking is curiosity and a problem-solving mindset. Hacking requires a desire to understand how systems work, a willingness to experiment, and the ability to think creatively to find vulnerabilities or solutions. How funny would it be if you wanted to become a great hacker but had to ask someone else Else to install a Linux operating system for you just because you encountered an error during installation. So this was a brief hacking guide. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and like this video for more cybersecurity content like this. If you want to support this channel and get something valuable in return, you can check out our 250 plus hacking command cheat sheet through the first link in the description. It will help you learn basic to advanced hacking commands with detailed descriptions and examples. Thank you for watching.